Then Monday, uh, we had. So the next day, yeah, I wake up fresh as a fresh as a flower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay and, right. and right. it was time for a play date yes my friend at school her name's Cashel. she with her beautiful house and she's beautiful and her body and her face and her hair yeah i think you want to be in features. a throuple with these people you just wouldn't shut the oh, fuck up about them. their house is gorgeous and everything about them is gorgeous she's an interior they're gorgeous designer. the place is gorgeous he's is- yeah he's handsome <laughs> But and his friend and their child, their son is friends with our son. And she was like, hey, why don't I do something on Memorial Day? She said this weeks ago. And I was like, are you sure you want to do something? You're due. She's pregnant. She's going to have a baby next month. Mm -hmm. And she wants to host. I was like, I felt bad. So she um, had us over. Uh, Unbeknownst to me, her husband is a Met fan. Mm. And like a hardcore Met fan. Like he had like this. Ha- met like hat a met on. hat? No, like oh the God. one with the exact, like a like a really rare Met hat on. <laughs> you know the one that I got when we went to sure. uh, City Field just yeah. now? It's like the exaggerated. I'm going to wear that tonight. Okay. We're going to the Met game tonight. Ooh. Okay. So you flaked on that party. I didn't flake. I wasn't going. I told you I wasn't going. And then I said I was going. Uh, there's, I get a threshold. Of parties and, and, and outside excursions before it's like, no, I'm good. And that day I wanted to be by myself. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, the only thing is that. It was fortuitous that I was home alone. Yes. But we before you say why it was meant to be that you didn't come, I just want to say their house is so beautiful. It was so comfortable. They had such a beautiful spread, just like Jeff's house. And our son's three years old. And if they're going to be friends, I'm sure there'll be many more of these parties. Well, I don't know if you can live life that way you know i can because we're here like today this. and gone I've, tomorrow i've lived like this long i'll be all right I'll but be it right. was like such a comfortable place like i felt at home there i didn't feel like i needed i know to leave. i know you haven't shut the you tell me about not shutting up about something for you week. know when you have you a haven't home shut up about that, that house that feels you, like i'm home? comfortable like a home you're not like oof, i'm somewhere else like uh, i can't wait to get out of here, here. none of that yeah their house you're is like so oh man i can't wait to take a shit here no i didn't feel that at all i was just like great it's all Comfortable, clean, open floor plan, indoor, oh, outdoor. Wow. You would wow. have loved it. That's I, all I'm it, saying. Yes, I, oh, you I bet I would. It. I bet it's I would. It's what our house aspires I, to I be. I bet I would have loved it. Yeah. I do. I bet I would have loved and the floor plan. And what's really cool about uh, when your kid goes to another kid's house is that they start to play with their toys and they had this little sand pit on build out and they had a big screen like in the backyard like we do. And it was just like, Shams discovers like trucks all over again through the eyes of his friends. And it was just so fun to watch your boy have a good time discovering, you know, like new toys together and interacting. Totally. Me and the moms were like maybe kind of scratching the surface a little bit, getting to know each other better. Because let me tell you, when you are friends with your mom, when you become friends with. how How am I trying to say this? When when your kids make friends, you become friends with their parents by default. Well, you become associates. I don't know if it's friends. Then from there, a friendship can grow. But I think that, you you know, friends is, uh, is a loose word. It's definitely friends. not friends. It's associates. It's like coworkers. Yeah. You have a job in common. Yes. In this case, you have your children and in common. And you might have more friends at work. You, you might, might you might become a you might get a work BFF, or Absolutely. you might just have to get along with each other because yeah, or your you friends might, or get you along, might, or you might, or, or you, you might. might not get along. In yeah. which case, then you probably or you have those other people that you work with that you really don't know them much outside of work. You right. know what I mean? You know them just at that party, mm-hmm. and they come and, and they come and go, and that's pretty much it. Your you relationship know? doesn't exceed no, it's weekends a good, it's a good or parallel. after five. It's a good parallel. It's a lot like a work thing. Right, it could blossom into more, but really, at the end of the day, it's about the kids and with. Not the job. <laughs> yeah, and with Cashel, I can see myself really being Oh, friends. I bet you could. I bet you but could. But with other moms, I'm like, I can notice that all of us, when we get together, um, you were trying to stay in our lane and be really polite and not ask a lot of, you know, personal questions. But Cashel's- Give your mother away. <laughs> Cashel's girlfriend was there, her longtime friend of 20 plus years or whatever. Mm. So she was like, how do you guys all know each other? And we were like, 
We got kids. We don't even know each other. We're here because of our children. Yeah. And we're and sh- and then she was like, Oh, you guys are and I go, we're trying not to ask each other any personal questions out of respect for the fact that we're we're really just meeting like we only met like two months ago. A riveting. Riv- you know what I mean? Riveting. I mean, maybe I can get we can get more into it next time. Oh, please. I want to get more into this. I do. You know I what di- I mean. I want to dig deeper into how this. How much can you really how I like, want to uh, get a shovel because I want to get real deep. <laughs> I want to get real deep more into this. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of town. Four while, minutes away. Four while, minutes yeah, away. Four minutes away. While all this is going down, uh, just to, to paint a little picture, the street, it's, it's Memorial Day, right? So it's real quiet. There's nobody home, uh, you know, next to me. So it's really, I pick, I've picked the perfect day to just be by myself. And I was going out to the front porch to have a Scooby snack. I was going to uh, puff a little bit of a doobie. Puff and, the magic uh, dragon? Yeah, by myself. And, you know, it was going to be my, birth, uh, my Memorial Day present afternoon. Okay. And within two or three tokes of said doobie, across the street, a car pulls up, and two people get out with masks, sweatpants, and, and literally rush the house across the street. I mean, hooded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, they've, it's a home invasion. They just ran in. They've, inva- they've literally invaded the home next door. And I thought it was three people. No, someone was in the car. So someone the third driving, per- was person driving. stayed in the car. Yeah, was the lookout outside. And uh, I'm, I'm watching it all unfold in front of me. And again, I just took two hits off a Scooby snack. I'm like, yo, did I really just see what I just saw? Jeez. Yeah. And uh, so whatever. Long story short. I called 911 and um, they arrested them. Yeah, they they got them. They got them. Uh, they the neighbor them. next door was was very, very, very appreciative. Very, very shook. Uh, we were listen, all- I, I'm a stitches get stitches type of guy. Mind your own business. But when it's your neighbor, it's, it's different. You know what I mean? There are a bunch of families. And, yeah, absolutely. You know, I want people to feel safe on the block. As I would like to other. feel safe on my block. And, uh, you know, but he was. Real appreciative. Bought us a whole bunch of bakery stuff. I do have to tell him if he listens. I, I know a few people on the block listens. We way overdid it with the pastries, bro. Gary. Like, how fat do you think we are? Like, We're yeah. pretty fat. You no, know, you must think that we are really, really plump. They're you like... bought way too many pastries as a thank you for us. Uh, but, you know, it was, a pretty, it was a pretty eventful week. And this was only Monday. You know what I mean? This is... Sunday it was Jeff Lewis. Monday was the party. Things really got. I mean, was uh, Monday was the home invasion or the attempted? Uh, it was a pretty eventful week. Uh, you know, um, thank God everybody was safe. Thank God the bad guys were arrested. Thank you, Tommy, for being the hero, saving Let's the not, day. Don't get carried away with the hero. Saving the day, and uh, yeah. The, the, Bro, you, Let's not get you did the right you. thing at the right time, and you were home. The cops for the, got here quick. I will say that you, the cops got here quick. There was a reason why you never go to the front yard, but you did this time. Yeah, yeah, it was all pretty crazy. And just the fact that you that acted sense. quick, and they ever you gave the cops and the family and everyone around us um, an opportunity to feel like that uh, horror story had a, uh, a a happy ending. You know. Yeah. It so was, you are a hero, uh, and the, the reason our neighbor brought stuff was because he wanted to err on the side of generosity and appreciation of what you did. Relax. You let's know, not, no, let's that's not get what carried happened. away. Let's not get carried away. That's but it what was, happened. It was an exciting week, and it was only Monday. 